welcome to this lecture in this lectures i will go through gels table that is the traverse coordinate calculation and in this and in this lectures i will go through angular misclosure balancing angular misclosure that is the adjustment that the determine direction of sides that is the bearing of the traverse leg latitude and departure and linear misclosure adjustment of linear misclosure and finally calculation of independent coordinates first determine angular misclosure if this is the closed traverse that is a b c d e is our closed traverse and included angle angle a b c d is calculated either total station or from theodolite and calculated interior angle of the traverse is shown in figures and the included angle is tabulated as shown in table that is the station a b c d e that is the total number of station is 5 and the traverse leg a b b c c d d e and e a and the respective distance is shown in tabular form and the interior angle degree minute second and in decimal that is 86.433 in degree similarly angle d this is the angle e is the 145 degree 37 minute and 0 second that is the 145.6167 in degree therefore the total sum of the interior angle is 539.9667 degree the sum of the theoretical include interior angle equals to n minus 2 into 180 that is the 540 degree that is the sum of the theoretical interior angle of this traverse is 540 but we observe the total calculated angle as 539.9667 degree therefore angular misclosure equals to observe angle minus theoretical angle is equals to minus 0 0.03 degree that is minus 2 second is this angular misclosure minus 2 minute is permissible or not we have to first check it now permissible check the permissible error for the angular misclosure e equals to plus minus 1 root n where 1 is the least count of the instrument and here the least count of instrument is used as a 1 minute then n is the number of traverse leg that is number of traverse leg is 5 and the potential error is calculated as 2.23 minute since the angular misclosure that we have calculated equals plus uh, sorry minus 2 minute is less than 2.23 minute possible error that's why we can adjustment we can do adjustment for the measured interior angle Now adjustment of angular misclosure and this is the angles determined from the total station or third line. In this angle we have to adjust for angular misclosure. Then angular misclosure equals to minus 2 minute. Then the angular correction equals to plus 2 minute. Correction and is angle equals to angular misclosure divided by total number of angle or total number of station that is 5 is equals to plus 24 second in this case we can add 24 second in each individual angle for the angular adjustment but in this case since the angular measurement precision is in one minute there is no recorded in second that's why we can simply add one minute to the greater angles that is angle E and angle C. 
Therefore, the corrected angle for angle E that is 145 degree 35 minute plus 0 degree 1 minute is calculated as 146 degree 38 minute that is the 37 is replaced by 38 minute. Similarly, angle C equals to 180 degree 25 minutes plus 0 degree 1 minute is calculated as 108 degree 26 minute that is the 25 minute is replaced by 26 second for the angular misclosure adjustment. Then the corrected traverse angle can be tabulated as shown in figure where we have corrected or added one minute in angle C and one minute in angle E. Therefore, the total corrected angle sum up to 540 degree. Now, determining bearing of traverse leg that is the direction of traverse leg and this is the corrected interior angle of the traverse leg. The bearing of the traverse leg can be calculated from a simple format that is the bearing of the following line equals to bearing of previous line plus observed included angle plus plus 180 degree if the sum the sum is bearing of previous line plus observed included angle is less than 180 degree in this case we add up the 180 degree similarly if the sum that is the bearing of previous line plus observed included angle is greater than 180 we plus or minus 180 degree Similarly, if the sum is greater than that is the sum bearing of previous line plus observed included angle is greater than 540 degree, we deduct 540 degree from the sum that is the bearing of previous line plus observed included angle. But here observed included angle is that may be interior angle or exterior angle based on the direction of bearing calculation that is this observed included angle is interior angle for clockwise run the clockwise run is if the bearing calculation start as in clockwise direction sorry anti clockwise direction that is a b b c c d d e and finally e a for this anti clockwise run this observed included angle is interior angle of the traverse leg. Similarly, this observed included angle is exterior angle for a clockwise run. If the bearing calculation of a traverse leg is done in clockwise direction, that is A, A, E, E, D, D, C, C, B, and B, A, this observed included angle will be exterior angle A, exterior angle E, exterior angle D, exterior angle C, and exterior angle B. Now, for anti-clockwise run, the included angle must be interior angle of traverse. Given that the bearing of the line A B is 141 degree 45 minute, that is the bearing of the line A B is given. Then the bearing of B C is equals to bearing of line A B plus this included angle. If the sum is greater than 180 degree, we have to deduct minus 180 degree. If the sum is less than 180 degree, we have to sum 180 degree. If the sum is greater than 540 degree, we deduct 540 degree. Therefore, the bearing of line BC equals to bearing of previous line that is AB is 141 degree 45 minute plus angle B that is 107 degree 10 minute. This sum is greater than 180, so we deduct minus 180 degree and calculate it as bearing of BC is 68 degree. 55 minutes 
similarly the bearing of line c d can be calculated as bearing of previous line that is a bc plus included angle c plus minus 180 degree and calculated as bearing of cd is calculated as 357 degree and 21 minute similarly the bearing of line d e is calculated as bearing of previous line that is the c d plus angle d and plus minus 180 degree since the sum bearing of c d plus angle d is greater than 180 degree then we have to deduct 180 degree therefore the bearing of d is calculated at 269 degree 41 minute Similarly, the bearing of E A is calculated as a bearing of previous line that is the bearing of D E plus angle E plus minus 180 degree and calculated as bearing of E A is calculated at 235 degree 19 second. For the correction, we be for the correction we finally calculate the bearing of AB and is calculated as bearing of previous line EA plus angle A plus minus 180 degree and calculated as 141 degree 45 minute 